Einstein was wrong, and not just a little bit, but completely. Researchers at MIT have just carried out an experiment that disproves one of the greatest minds in the history of physics, while confirming the craziest property of our universe. What they've discovered will blow your mind, so make sure you stick around until the end. A warm welcome, everyone. Okay, folks, let's start with a tricky question. Is Schrodinger's cat dead or alive? Write your opinion in the comments. Today is about quantum physics and a mistake made by Einstein. Don't make a mistake yourselves. Subscribe to the channel now. Subscribing is free. You'll never miss a new video about the craziest discoveries in science, and you'll be helping me out a lot. And if you've already subscribed, you can really help by giving the video a thumbs up. Maybe we'll hit 5,000 likes. The YouTube algorithm loves that. Thank you very much, everyone. And now, let's imagine we could travel back in time and meet Einstein in person. We knock on his door in Princeton, he opens it with his wild hair, and we say, Mr. Einstein, we come from the year 2025 and unfortunately we have to tell you, you're wrong. He'd probably think we were mad at first. But that's exactly what's happened now, in a way. Researchers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology have conducted a completely new version of the most famous experiment in quantum physics, proving Einstein wrong once and for all. And a refutation of Einstein really doesn't happen every day. The man was basically right about almost everything. To understand what this is about, we have to go back to the year 1801. British physicist Thomas Young conducted an experiment that every physics student knows today, the double slit experiment. Young sent light through two narrow slits and observed what happened on a screen behind them. If light consisted of particles, one would have expected two bright spots, one for each slit. Instead, Young saw a striped pattern of light and dark areas. This could only mean that light behaves like a wave. This discovery was revolutionary because it showed that light has properties that we know from everyday life in the form of water waves. When two waves meet, they can reinforce or cancel each other out. This is exactly what happened in Young's experiment. But the story gets even crazier. In the 20th century, scientists discovered that light actually does consist of particles, the so-called photons. Einstein himself received the Nobel Prize in 1921 for his explanation of the photoelectric effect, in which he proved that light occurs in small packets of energy. The attentive viewer might now be wondering, so, is light a particle or a wave? I don't get anything anymore. We find the answer in quantum physics. Light is both. This bizarre phenomenon is called wave-particle duality. Now it gets really mysterious. When the double-slit experiment is performed with individual photons, something incredible happens. Each individual photon passes through both slits at the same time and interferes with itself. However, if you try to find out which slit the photon actually flew through, the wave pattern disappears immediately. It is as if the photon knows that it is being observed. Einstein could never accept this idea, which is understandable because it is admittedly quite crazy. For him, it was impossible that nature could function in such a random and indeterminate way. His statement, God does not play dice, became famous. Einstein looked for ways to disprove quantum theory. His brilliant idea, when a photon flies through a slit, it should nudge the slit ever so slightly. This tiny force could be measured, allowing us to determine which slit the photon flew through without destroying the wave pattern. Niels Bohr, the founder of quantum theory, vehemently disagreed. According to the uncertainty principle, it is impossible to measure two complementary properties of a particle simultaneously with absolute precision. Bohr's prediction, any attempt to determine the path of the photon would destroy the wave pattern. For decades, this heated debate remained unresolved. Although all experiments suggested that Bohr was right, there was always a suspicion that the equipment used was too crude and distorted the results. And who would bet against Einstein despite all the evidence? This is where the MIT researchers come in. Wolfgang Kettel and his team conducted the most elegant double slit experiment ever. Instead of normal slits, they used individual atoms, the smallest slits imaginable. They cooled over 10,000 atoms to a few millikelvin, which is colder than in space. And using laser beams, they arranged these atoms in a perfect crystal lattice. These atoms acted as slits for the photons. When a beam of light hits the atoms, the photons are scattered and just like in the classic double-slit experiment, create an interference pattern. The ingenious trick, the researchers were able to control the blurriness of the atoms. The blurrier the position of an atom, the easier it is for the passing photon to detect it and the more the light behaves like a particle. And what they discovered, the result was clear. Einstein was wrong. 
The more information the researchers gathered about the path of the photons, the weaker the wave pattern became. It is physically impossible to observe light as both a wave and a particle at the same time. But the team went one step further. They switched off the lasers that held the atoms in place, the springs in Einstein's thought experiment, so to speak. Even without this mechanical connection, the result remained the same. This proves that it is not the apparatus that causes the phenomenon, but the fundamental laws of quantum mechanics. Einstein and Bohr would never have thought that such an experiment with individual atoms and photons was possible says Wolfgang Ketterle. The experiment once again confirms the bizarre nature of the quantum world. Particles have a dual nature, and we can never observe both aspects at the same time. Schrodinger's cat in its box is both dead and alive. Definitely a case for the animal rights activists at PETA. What does this mean for our understanding of reality? Quantum physics shows us that, at a fundamental level, the universe is based on probabilities. The properties we observe in the macroscopic world only arise through the statistics of countless quantum particles. Einstein would have hated that because in fact the universe is constantly rolling the dice. And this insight is not only of academic interest, quantum mechanics is the basis for technologies such as computers, lasers and MRI machines. Future quantum computers and quantum communication will revolutionize our lives and they are all based on precisely the principles that so disturbed Einstein. The MIT experiment also shows how important it is to constantly question established theories. Einstein was one of the greatest physicists of all time, but even geniuses can be wrong. His criticism of quantum theory was not pointless. It helped to deepen our understanding and to develop better experiments. The timing of the discovery is particularly exciting. 2025 has been declared the International Year of Quantum Science by the United Nations, exactly 100 years after the formulation of quantum mechanics. The Einstein-Bohr debate took place just two years later. It is a wonderful coincidence that this historic controversy could be resolved in the anniversary year. Well, maybe it's not just a coincidence after all. A thought that always comes to me when I read about the effects of quantum physics is, what if the entire universe depends on our observation? When we look, the universe looks the way we know it. But what does it look like when no one is looking? It's a bit creepy, the thought. Feel free to write me in the comments what you think about it. Either way, reality is crazier than any science fiction novel. We live in a universe where particles can be in several places at once, where observation changes reality, and where chance plays a fundamental role. And the best part, we only understand a fraction of these quantum mechanical mysteries so far. How does our reality emerge from the bizarre world of quantum mechanics? Are there hidden variables that we have yet to discover? And what exactly happens when we observe a quantum system? I'll keep you updated on all further discoveries in the quantum world. So, feel free to subscribe to the channel now and don't forget to give a thumbs up so we can hit 5,000 likes. And speaking of unanswered questions, a discovery has just been made at the CERN Particle Accelerator that could be even more spectacular than the MIT experiment. Researchers there have conducted a matter-antimatter collision that has revolutionized our understanding of the origin of the entire universe. It could provide the answer to the question of why anything exists at all and why matter and antimatter did not annihilate each other at the beginning of the cosmos. What was discovered at CERN? I'll explain in the video top right. It's exciting. Check it out. And if you can't get enough of space and science, you'll find another video at the bottom right. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.